Hello friends, this video on Polymers part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll take some numericals. Now we'll take some numerical. The first question is this particular is a homopolymer or copolymer. We know this is polystyrene and this is from, from styrene. That is C6. H5, CH5, CH2. Right? This is styrene and from this you get this polystyrene. And thus I can say it's a homopolymer because this is obtained only from one monomer, monomer that is styrene. To write the name of monomers for these compounds. So in this case, we know that this is what? Mylon 6 6. Mylon 6 6. And we know that this is from, from hexamethylene limine, this particular part. And this part is formed from uric acid. So this, this part is hexa methylene diamine. That is NS2, CH2, 6 ns 2 And this part is a dipic acid. And a dipic acid we know is uh, COH here. CH2 or oh. just by looking at this you can actually make out okay the next is this one this is actually we know that this is formed from caprolactam actually when I was telling you about this I told you to pay attention here because this was a little different and you see this is how it is Right? It's big bond from here. This is caprolactam. Okay. The next one is CF2, CF2 is Teflon. Teflon we know is made from tetrafluorothene. It is CF2, double bonds. This is the monomer. So, monomer for the first compound, I know this is, is 6 amphetamine diamine and adipic acid. Monomer for this compound. Scaprolactam and monomer for this compound teflon is tetrafluoroethene. Okay. Classify the following as addition condensation polymer. See, first is sterylene, we know is condensation polymer. Bakelite is again condensation polymer. We have seen the equation reaction for this. EDC, we know is addition polymer. Polythene is also addition. We have seen these reactions, so if you want, you can actually go through the reaction, discuss, understand why it is addition or uh, condensation, addition polymer or condensation polymer. Different between Buna N and Buna S. See, Buna N is uh, artificial rubber. Okay. Artificial rubber. In Buna S, is uh, copolymer of 1,3-butadiene uh, and styrene. And that's why it is uh, S for steel. Una N, N is for acronitrile. So this is a copolymer of 1,3-butadiene and acrylonitrile. This N is for acrylonitrile. More difference, you can actually watch my video where I explain the difference between these two. You have to arrange the following polymer in the increasing order of their intermolecular force, these two. Actually, we have discussed this. So, if you see, the nylon 66 is a fiber, something we know. Buna S is an elastomer, we have discussed. Polythene is a thermoplast. Similarly, here also, nylon 66 is fiber. Neoprene is elastomer. And PVC is thermoplast. Now we know that 
intermolecular force of attraction is least in the elastomer and then thermoplastic and then fiber as the max. So let's arrange that. In first case, elastomer, which is elastomer buna S, so it will be buna S and then thermoplastic polythene and then fiber that is minus S. In the second case again, the least is elastomer that is neoprene and then thermoplastic that is PVC and then fiber that is nylon 6. Okay. The next is name the structure of the most common initiator used in the free radical reaction. We use benzoyl peroxide. This is benzoyl peroxide. Okay, and the way it reacts is bond breaks and you get two of these molecules with a lone pair. And this lone pair moves here, this bond also breaks. You get C6H5, two of this, and you get carbon dioxide. Okay. You can also write this as Let's take the last numerical. The presence of double bonds in the rubber molecules influence their structure and reactivity. How? See, if you talk about the rubber polymers, so if you talk about the natural polymer, this is natural rubber. So natural rubber is a polymer of a monomer that is cis polymer of isopropene. So if you talk about the natural rubber, this is how it is. It will form bond. Right, again, if you want, I can draw for you on this. Like this. CS3. This is CS3. Okay. This is natural rubber. Okay. So if you talk about another rubber, another type of rubber actually, this is cis isopropene. Texas polyisopropene. If you talk about the trans, we change color. Trans poly isopropene. So in this case, if you want to draw the structure, you will see something like this. So there is a CH2 molecule here. There is a CH3 here, let's suppose. There is a H here. There is a CH2. Here. So these will form bond. So next here also, it has the same kind of structure. There will be a CH2 here, and there will be a CH2 here. And here you will have either CH3 or H. And we will again form bond. Okay. So here you will have a CH2 to form bond. And more CH2 here to form bond. And here you can have H, here you can have CH3. Okay. Now if you see there is a bond like this. Zigzag. Okay. One bond here, one bond here, one here, one here. This is trans. If we talk about cis, all the bonds are here. Okay, so presence of double bond in the trans position in this case make it harder. So green one is harder than the natural rubber. In fact, both are natural rubber, both are different natural rubbers. But this is harder and this is softer. If you see, the chemical composition is all same, but again, depending on the presence of bond. Okay, so the presence of double bond in the rubber molecules actually is. is Influencing their structure and reactivity. The way it is, bond is cis or trans. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attend free online tests, get free study materials, 
find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.